Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge T710 and specifically do an overview on the RAM and CPUs. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge T710. Do us a favor, if you find anything useful in today's video, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, we're gonna get rolling. So first thing, we're gonna start with the CPUs. There are two CPUs inside. It is an LGA1366 socket. It utilizes Intel Xeon 5500 or 5600 series CPUs. We get asked a lot, what series, uh, what CPUs do you recommend? I specifically like going with uh, hex cores because you can drop in two hex cores and get 12 cores out of this machine. And there's a couple of hex cores that you can get for a really inexpensive price, uh, specifically the X5650, the X5660, the X5670, uh, even the E5645 is another good option. Uh, so all of these will get you uh, uh, a nice uh, 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 boost overall and you get two hex cores and it's again not too expensive It'll be under 100 bucks easy to, to get that okay next let's go over the uh, RAM that you can use for this it is a DDR3 memory there's 18 DIMM slots inside there's a number of speeds that you can use you can go as low as 1066 1333 or 1600 I will note though if you're using 1600 it will clock down to 1333 so if it's if it's a situation where you have you know memory lane around then yeah the 1600 will work if a situation where you need to go buy and the, the 1600 costs more than the 1333 then I would just buy the 1333 because you get no added benefit however if you can get the 1600 at the same price as 1333 you might as well go ahead and grab that just in case because you never know when you can reuse RAM again for a future system all right uh, that being said let's go over the sizes there are you can put uh, one gig two gig four gig 8 gig, 16 gig, or yes, all the way up to 32 gig memory modules inside. I do understand the spec sheet says that the highest you can go is 16 gigs. However, uh, Dell never actually had tested it with 32 gigs. You can put 32 gig modules inside. There are two types of RAM you can use for this machine. Uh, you can use uh, ECC registered, also known as an RDIM, or you can use ECC unbuffered. With ECC registered, you can put in 12 32 gigs and max out at 384 gigabytes at 13. 33, where with ECC unbuffered, you can only max out at 24 gigabytes using 12 2 gigs. So you can see why we would recommend um, uh, ECC registered for the fact that you can just get you know way higher scalability at a, uh, a way lower cost per per gigabyte. Uh, and also this would be 1333 for the max as well. Okay, uh, now that we know a little bit more about the RAM and CPUs, I'd like to open it up and show you a little bit about the channels because I know one of the questions that we're going to hear is uh, why can you only put in uh, 12 32 gigs and not 18 and that's called the rank rule and that's really important uh, as far as understanding the channel so I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and I'll come right back and open this up all right we're back with our ESD gear and rolling so first things first just make sure this is unlocked pop open the tab it's kind of on a hinge and you're just gonna want to lift this up okay one thing I actually did want to point out um, before I sort of show you everything is uh, right here is actually a good uh, representation for the the memory it's a guide um, I'm gonna be going over some of this as well but it shows you the memory channels the start of the channels uh, which uh, is you know a1 b1 and all that kind of stuff um, so this is actually a really helpful guide uh, if you're at home and you're, you're working on this machine okay so I wanted to point that out real quick we're gonna toss the top to the side now and get going okay um, so you'll notice there's the air baffle um, big boy air baffle here uh, that is uh, blocking all the uh, access to everything for the 18 DIMM slots and the uh, two CPUs. So there's a tab over here. You actually want to push it this way. And when you do that, it's going to unlock and you can pull this up and then just toss this to the side as well. Okay, now we have access to everything. So we're, we're basically ready to rock and roll. Um, you will notice that this is uh, CPU 1 and CPU 1 is controlling the nine DIMM slots right here, and this is CPU 2, and CPU 2 is controlling the nine DIMM slots back here. Now this is important for a number of reasons. Uh, let's just say you were only using one CPU, then you need to make sure that uh, you're only using these uh, nine DIMM slots. It physically wouldn't register over here. Not that most people would be using only one CPU with this machine. Uh, you really should definitely have two, but just in case, I wanted to point that out. Um, it's also important to note, uh, because let's just say, you decided, hey, I'm only going to put in, uh, you know, six memory modules uh, to pair with your two CPUs. You would want to put them at the start of each memory channel. So you say, okay, how do I know what are the channels? Well, that, we'll, we'll cover that right now. So uh, as we discussed, CPU1 has nine DIMM slots, uh, which means there are three 
memory channels and each memory channel has three dims per channel and that three dims per channel is really important because that is why we run into the rank rule issue and you say what's the rank rule well the rank rule basically states that you can't have more than eight ranks per memory channel so if there's three dim slots in your channel and each dim slot is loaded with say a dual rank module which is what most uh, uh, you know, 2 gig, 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gigs are, then it's not really a big deal. Uh, you can load all three slots up. So you could put in you know, 18, 16 gigs, for instance, and, and get 288 gigabytes. But as soon as you go to 32 gig DDR3 ECC registered, all 32 gig ECC registered DDR3s are quad rank. So you can do some quick math in 4 plus 4 plus 4. You break the 8 ranks, which means you cannot use the third channel, so you, or the third slot in the channel. So you can only use the first two slots. And I hope that makes sense because it's, it's an important uh, rule. And it's the same thing with unbuffered. You would only be able to put the, them in the first two. So basically, that's how it would look like um, if you were to max it out. Uh, you would put in 12, 32 gigs. I mean, the first two um, slots of the channel and and how you identify the channels uh, is real simple the white dim slot is the start of the channel so this is a1 this is a2 and this is a3 okay so a1 a2 a3 and you come back over here this is going to be b1 b2 and then b3 all again the three white dim slots so just understanding uh, the start of the channel uh, is real important and it's more important just if you're uh, either maxing it out with quad rank 32 gigs or if you're only putting in you know 6 12 uh, memory modules something like this you just need to make sure you're putting them at the start of the channel and then people ask well why do I need to put them in the start of the channel well it's really all about uh, maximizing your performance you want to get the most out of your T710 you want it to do uh, every application as efficiently as possible um, what you don't want to do is overload one or two of your channels and then have a couple other channels that just aren't even getting utilized um, you want to have a nice even distribution across all the channels uh, so there's a, a spread of the load evenly uh, and just again to maximize performance okay so now we're actually going to get uh, rolling we're going to actually install a few dims so here's my first tip that I always recommend before before I get going, I actually like to pop open all my tabs. This makes it a little bit easier, so when I'm installing them, I'm not fumbling around, holding a module, and potentially uh, you know, dropping it while I'm trying to open things, or the tab can even pre prevent you from uh, putting the module in. So I, just a simple little trick, boom, they're all open, and now I'm ready to go. So the next thing I like to point out, on the module itself, you, this key is really important because this key is not perfectly centered. So if you go to install your module and you in, uh, insert it the wrong way, you could potentially damage the leads or you could damage the dim slot itself and have to replace the motherboard. Ne neither are a situation you want to run into. So in this case, when I install over here, I need to flip it this way to make sure that it is uh, perfectly aligned okay and then here's the next thing I like to note so I have I'm not holding the module you can see the module is in there uh, but the module is actually not physically um, inserted and it's not properly seated so you need to hear these two clicks listen for the clicks click one click two so what happened there uh, is the um, the tab pulls the notch on the side and actually physically pulls the uh, the leads into the dim uh, socket itself and that's how it actually is registered uh, and this is the next important thing here when you're installing 32 gigs as we discussed the whole rank rule you've now put in two quad rank modules that get you to eight ranks you cannot use this third dim slot okay so you need to make sure you skip that and you're going to the start of the next channel which is the white as we discussed all right, so that is um, really just the, the main trick there for if you want to max it out. Uh, and technically, another thing I've seen people do, they'll grab um, some 16 gig um, a 1066 speed, which are also uh, quad rank, and skip the start there. Make sure I put it back here. And they'll, they'll grab those um, and they'll do something similar to this where they can only put 12 of them in. Uh, you cannot put in uh, 18 of any quad ranks, including 
uh, if you were to use 16 gigs. Okay, so all right, so you'll notice here we have skipped the third slot of each channel. Okay, so now we're going to come over here to the second side um, and again just make sure we line up our notches properly. We're going to go into the B1 to start and we're just going to simply put our module in, click, click, right, do the second slot and then skip the third. Okay, so really we'll, we'll do that. We'll hit fast forward right now and finish this side. All right, so look, it was just that simple. Uh, we've now installed 1232 gigs, maxed this out at 384 gigabytes, that, the highest that you can get for the, uh, the PowerEdge T710. Um, you know, really you could see it was, it was a pretty simple process overall. Uh, you know, a few tricks along the way, but nothing that's not easy to overcome. Uh, and it's a, a great, like, upgrade in the sense of, you know, it'll take you probably longer to access your machine than it will to physically install them. And that's, you know, that's a, a nice, nice thing there. Um, and uh, another thing that's nice is that, uh, you know, this is, you know, what we tell everyone is that, you know, if you're looking to extend the life of your your server and you don't want to have to go buy a brand new server and spend tens of thousands of dollars and have to get someone to come install it and do all that and remap everything and you know the whole process that that, that is you, you just need to get a boost in performance upgrade your RAM upgrade your RAM that's the way to go um, CPUs next but upgrade your RAM that's that's where you're gonna get uh, the best uh, boost in your performance and that's what I always recommend to people so uh, now we're just going to put the uh, air baffle back on which is nice and simple so you're just going to line it up and then over here this will click back into place and you hear that click and just like that you're done we'll put the top on here in a second and call it a day but hey thanks for stopping by if you made it this far in the video hey do us a favor click that like smash that subscribe and if you need any upgrades for your T710 please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. We have uh, a number of different options for this machine, especially the 16 gig and 32 gigs. Uh, so uh, appreciate your time and you have a wonderful day.